Okay, in this little screencast, I'm going to show you how the, the Dita to WordPress importer tool works. So basically, just to set it up, it's real easy. You download it from this site, Mike's Little, Mike Little's Journalized, and you FTP it into your WP admin slash import folder, right, in WordPress. So after you do that, um, when you go to, let me scroll down a little bit, in your tools section under import, you'll see a new category of things that you can import. You can now import did a help, all right? So just by adding that little tool that you download, it, it creates this here. So I'm going to click this, and now if you, let me come and show you the before picture. I've got a site that I've installed, and I just have some test posts. Um, if you go to idratherbewriting.com slash test, you can see it. And you'll notice that there's really no pages in this at all. All right, it's just a blog. Now, I have from this same site here, Mike Little's Journalized, he includes some sample did a web help files. So the part that is included here that's key, or the part that's key, is the um, XHTML output. So WordPress is going to slurp in all those XHTML files and put them as pages in the WordPress site. Okay, so we're going to just do that by importing it. And this is a little tricky. Uh, you have to tell it what directory you have these files in. So I just uploaded them to my website and put them in, in the web directory. But you need the absolute path to that, and you may have to like ask your web host what that is. Um, so anyway, figure out what the directory is, where you where you put the files, where you want it to pull, and then I'm going to click import. Ooh, and look at it go! It's pulling all of those things in, and I'll go to stage two. see what stage two does. Stage two actually I believe puts the titles on them and actually I'm not really sure about that. Uh, there are details in the readme file for what exactly it's doing in each of these stages but uh, basically they're just five little stages and you walk through them all and when you're when you hit the end of stage five, you're done. Okay. Now, let's go back to that site, refresh it, and you'll see here on the left that this is where my pages go in this theme. This, by the way, is the Andreas theme, which is pretty cool. So, in the, the files that I imported, Garage Concepts was like a top level file, and it has some subfiles under here. So the the way the way that WordPress imports them is that basically there's page parents and and child pages and uh in the same way that a table of contents has a a, a parent and child kind of structure. So here's another category garage tasks and then you see all the sub uh pages under that. So this is pretty cool, and um, you know, you, you uh, I'm not really sure what this last one is. It's kind of like a site map, but definitely uh, this is a a neat way of doing help. I, I haven't explored it more than just checking this little importer tool out, but uh, there's many advantages to using WordPress because, um, well, you get kind of an online help look, uh, actually a, a website look and very web 2.0 ish and of course um, readers can comment on all these pages and things like that okay all right if you have any questions i'd love to hear them and like to hear how you're using it the tool